Gabriel, huge congratulations. It was almost the perfect night up on that stage, but you two must be over the moon right now. Yeah, definitely. I think we are very happy that we reached uh, the quarterfinals now and uh, yeah, can't wait to get to the hotel to get some proper rest uh, for the quarterfinals tomorrow. Only dropped one leg in the whole of the World Cup so far. That shows you're both playing extremely well at the moment. I'd say so, yeah. Do you agree? Yeah. Max, obviously you've been around the World Cup a long time. The curse of the quarterfinal. Is it finally the World Cup where you break that curse? I hope so. I think it's uh, the third, third quarterfinal now, if I'm right. And uh, yeah, it's about time, huh? No, definitely. We know we spoke yesterday about this being the perfect German pair. But the way you two approach it, you seem so at ease with each other. Yes, yeah, I would say we are quite fluent and we're enjoying our games. And uh, yeah, can't wait for tomorrow. Obviously, as well, Max, you're so used to going first. What's it like now playing in the second game when you already know there's a point on the board the way Gabriel's playing? Yeah, it's really good. It gives me a lot of confidence uh, if Gabriel goes ahead and, uh, yeah, plays as he can. So, um, yes, I'm really enjoying it. I think uh, Gabriel's enjoying it too. Yeah, I enjoy it. Uh, I look again. It's a better play than look again. <laughs> <laughs> For you, Max, I know you've made a lot of changes recently. The new darts, have you finally settled with them? Because obviously now we're seeing the very best of you coming forward. So are you happy with what, the way they are? Yes, definitely. Both the Netherlands made me uh, some great darts, but uh, I think there's still some more in the locker, I feel. Sometimes I have darts where they're just dropping a little bit. So maybe we work on that and uh, figure out uh, the perfect dart for Max. So maybe that's uh, to come for next season. And for you, Gabriel, tomorrow it's either going to be Holland or Spain. Have you come up with the master plan, the game plan for that game yet? Uh, good sleep this night and tomorrow we make a plan. Brilliant, guys. Thank you very much as always. No problem, yeah. Phil. Max and Gabriel, congratulations on the win. Um, we're used to seeing this event held in Germany in front of big crowds. Do you think the fact it's away from Germany this year and behind closed doors has maybe taken a little bit of the pressure off and allowed you to relax a little bit more? Not really, to be honest with you. I really miss the crowds. I think you could see at the start of the game, I give it away, even if there's nobody <laughs> even if there's nobody there. I'm aware of that. I'm not an idiot. I'm aware of that. But I just feel like the people at home, they uh, yeah, they want to see the max as usual, interacting with the crowd. So, yeah, that's why I give them a wave. And uh, I really miss the fans. And I hope the situation, I mean, it's a global situation, uh, will ease soon so we get more and more fans in the arenas. If you were to go on and win this event, how big do you think that could be for German darts? I think we will be in the news flash on every single TV channel. Yeah. Could be big. And Holland are a big favourites to beat Spain. We know that Germany and Holland have a big sporting rivalry. Would you really look forward to playing Holland if that was to, to happen tomorrow? Of course. Yeah. yeah, Spain is a good team. Tony and uh, Jesus. Yeah, I, I don't see Holland have won that uh, one yet. Uh, I think... Uh, Jesus and uh, Tony together are a great team, but uh, we will see. Obviously, on paper, the Netherlands are the favourite, but they had some struggles as well. Do you think that you're one of the most closely matched partnerships out in this tournament because you're very close in the rankings and, and very close in terms of ability as well? Could be, but the Belgium, I would say the Belgium guys are very close to each other as well. Okay, that's excellent. Thanks, guys. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Just one from me, if that's all right. Um, as, as Jay said, in terms of in terms of rankings, you're very similar. But is there a natural leadership with yourself, Max? Because obviously you've been here many times before. Or is it a case of you both know what you can do and you go up and play your individual game? Yes, I think uh, we team we team up uh, quite great, and uh, everybody of us is a is a great individual. But as a team, we are also strong. We showed that uh, yesterday. We have a great team spirit and I think uh, from here, even if we uh, have to play uh, pairs another time, uh, we can make it and we believe that and I think we're a good, good team together. Is, is the expectation the same as it's always been back home, even though there isn't a crowd and it isn't in Germany this year? Well, yeah. Yeah. The, the yeah. Germans always have high expectations. It doesn't matter, football, darts, tennis, everywhere. Yeah. We used yeah, to. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. If you know the Biathlon, the skiing and the shooting, yeah, it's, it's the same everywhere. Germans just want to win. They are, a, yeah, they are known for being, uh, being hard workers and want to win all the time. All right, brilliant. Thank you very much, guys. No problem. Thank you.